Hey YouTube and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making lasagna from scratch. Um, I actually did a full clean out of my freezer, fridge, and pantry and got rid of anything that was out of date. Took inventory and one of the things I thought was no longer good but actually is, is lasagna noodles and it's been a very long time since I've made that. So um, I'm actually going to go ahead and get started. It's a little bit of a longer recipe so hopefully in about three or four hours we'll be ready to eat. Cooking from a recipe is always easier if you start with already prepared components and lasagna is a perfect example of that. So we're going to start by chopping half an onion and finely mincing two garlic cloves. Then we're going to get our meat added to a large pot. I'm using a pound of sweet Italian sausage and one pound of ground beef today. I'll be cooking our sauce in my four quart stock pot and boiling our lasagna noodles in a little bit in my six quart stock pot. Once we get our meat all broken up in the hot pot, we're gonna add our onions, but don't add the garlic yet. You don't wanna overcook your garlic, so let's wait until the meat is browned before we add our garlic. Make sure you're stirring pretty regularly. This is a lot of meat. We're trying to brown it once and you don't want it to get stuck on the bottom. So just make sure you're rotating it regularly. And once everything is nice and browned, then we can add our garlic. After we've added the garlic and we've given it a nice stir and it has become fragrant, you're gonna wanna cool that off pretty quickly with all of the tomato sauces. So this is 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And then I've got two eight ounce cans of tomato sauce, two six ounce cans of tomato paste, and then I'm gonna fill up one of those sauce cans with water and add that to the pot too. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of sugar, but I'm just adding one here. Sugar will help cut down the acidity of the tomatoes, but I don't mind that, and I think that the sauce was good with just one tablespoon. In addition to the sugar, I'm adding one and a half teaspoons of dried basil, half a teaspoon or a little bit extra fennel seed, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon salt, and some freshly ground black pepper. Last, we'll add two of the four tablespoons of chopped parsley. The other two tablespoons we'll add to our cheese mixture. And we'll cover this and simmer for about an hour and a half. Stir occasionally. Next, we'll get a big pot of water to boil. And then we'll mix together our cheese mixture. I did make the full batch of sauce because I'm going to use the leftovers for another dinner, but I am going to half the rest of this lasagna recipe and cook it in an 8x8. So here I've measured out 8 ounces of ricotta cheese, 1 egg, about a half a teaspoon of salt, and the remaining chopped parsley. And I'm just going to mix this together really well, and I'm going to use this as one of the layers, or well I guess two of the layers of the lasagna. All right, my water's boiling, so I'm gonna add my pasta noodles. And again, I'm halving this recipe, so I'm just doing six lasagna noodles. And this ended up still having leftovers. Make sure to give them a good stir so they don't stick together while they cook. And once all of our components are ready, we're gonna go ahead and assemble. I'm gonna do the first layer with the meat sauce. Next is a layer of noodles, and you can cut them so that they fit in your baking dish. After the noodles is the ricotta mixture. Then a layer of mozzarella. And lastly some parmesan. And then we'll repeat all of these layers. So it'll be sauce, pasta, ricotta, mozzarella, parmesan.
Once the assembly process is complete, we're going to want to cover this with foil and bake it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. And then we're going to take the foil off and bake it uncovered for another 25 minutes or until the cheese is nice and golden brown. Thanks for watching.